<coughs> Hello guys, how are you my friends? Uh, today I am testing uh, a new light, okay? Uh, but I, I, I got... Uh, <coughs> Hello guys, how are you my friends? Uh, today I am testing... Okay, not double. Okay, I got uh, one bright light and one yellow uh, to make um, the problem with this camera okay it's normal to focus and with this too I can focus better okay on this okay hello Sergio tudo bem sempre tudo bem espero que esteja tudo ok contigo rapaz uh, so força nisso uh, Sergio is uh, want to ask me some questions so come on shoot it <laughs> if I know it, okay. So let me just, yeah, okay. Okay, Sergio, you can ask whenever you want, so I'm going to uh, try to show. So today, uh, as you can see on the photo okay, of the show of today, this photo, this is from the um, Yom Kippur War, okay, it's the Israel War in 1973, and this is the BMP-1 uh, of the foreign Armor division from Sinai Front, okay, and I'm going to try to make uh, a replica, okay, of this, okay, and let's see what should we tell. Exatamente, já acabaste de dizer tudo. Primários, produtos de limpeza, okay. Uh, Mas é assim, quando fores lá à loja, avisa-me e eu vou lá ter contigo e é mais fácil dizer-te lá o, o que é que realmente precisa. Não, não, há, não há de ser nada muito diferente, ok? É só mais o, o thinner que vais precisar, uh, qualquer coisa para limpar uh, o airbrush cleaner, ok? Portanto, uh, e se calhar só umas escovazinhas, okay? não sei se, se ainda lá temos, vou procurar aqui. E tipo umas escovazinhas destas só para na ajuda da limpeza, ok? Mas isso depois é, eu mostro lá na loja. Quando lá fores, diz, mesmo seja durante o dia da semana, não tem problema, tá bom? Uh, so guys, I'm sorry, uh, just asking some questions here to Sergio. Ok, and you guys, if you will have questions, free to ask, ok? So. I got all this in black primer, okay, and I'm going to use the colors from me and, and from this set, okay. Uh, this set came with my T54, uh, not T54, the type 692, I'm going to with a little jam, how are you? Pronto, já tens a escova, já dá para estrafar. <laughs> and I'm going to use the colors for this, ok? I, I, here, on the back, you can see the colors from Egypt. Okay, let's see if it's going to focus, yes. Ok, and this, these are the colors I have here to start, ok? I'm going to use the desert sand for the base. And then the Russian base and the red bronze for the rest, okay? Yes, this is black primer I put first, okay? And uh, on this, I'm not going to put any, uh, like I do the cr chromatic uh, technique with the colors black and white. Uh, I just put the black on this and I will start. Let me just remove here some, 
seems okay. So, and I'm going to start right away to put uh, on this the first coat, and the first coat is going to be the this one. Uh, focus, you bastard. Uh. So it's the desert yellow, okay? I got the oh, desert sand, I'm sorry. Desert sand. So, let's shake this very, very, very nice. Okay. Let me see if with the camera it's going to work nice. Okay. Now you can see here from the top. And I am shaking this. I got all the things I'm going to need. The brush, okay, for the dirty water. Okay. And let's see how is this go out from the the airbrush. The airbrush is going to be this with the 03 needle. Okay. So let's start putting the base color on this. nice and I'm not using this with any thinner okay this is coming real good okay so nice So always move this, okay. What the? Okay. Yes, there are some some colors I can go without thinner, but there is other not. So what I think of this they have uh, this paint they have pigments very thin okay so it's nice so let me grab here i got somewhere okay these boxes from matches okay careful let's try to paint these, hmm, maybe another one. No, this is not, this is all out of the box from Zveda. Okay, this is a Zveda model. And let's try and make a good thing of this.
Let's put some color behind there, yeah, okay. I'm going to put my color there. Side skirts, okay. I don't need uh, too much uh, tone, too much or uh, strong because I want some dark areas too, okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, well, let's put the matches like this, okay? Uh, let's go. First, let's go here. Sprocket wheel. The wheels, okay. Okay, now I'm go inside that. I'll just put some power on the background, okay. Now again here on the side. I got here one hair. Okay, so it's normal sometimes. Okay, then. guys okay okay I want there some shadows okay and you can see it's not all I can get up right there. I want some shadows, okay. <laughs> oh, Arboleda, how are you, my friends? Nice to have you here. Uh, okay, and I think at this moment it's almost on the type I want. So I'm just going to put just a little touch of color on the bottom. Okay, it's going to to be on the on the a little diorama. I'm going to do so. It's not for grabbing. Just some color, okay? Because when you take pictures, guys, normally when on the pictures we see something we don't see on the naked eye, okay? Just more here, just to give a little bright here on the edges.
Thank you. <laughs> so just a little color. Yeah, okay. No. Let me move. You see it, I am painting this with the gun with the turrets there. But I got no problem doing this, okay? Okay, maybe a little more there. See this side more color. And we are done with the base color, okay? Desert sand, it's done, so it's time to clean the airbrush. Okay, next it will be the two colors for the for this, but first I'm going to use a masking putty, okay? And we need to dry this very nice uh, for no problem. Okay, so just me let let me clean the airbrush. So next I'm going to do a, a things I like it's using that putty. And the putty I'm going to use is this from Amo. Okay. This is very nice, guys. Good. Now, let me grab. What is it? You. What the? So. It's here. My best friend. <laughs> So let's dry this good, okay? Because I want to put the the putty, okay? And I want this not to bring any paint back, okay? this to dry from the heat okay oh, put a little more sound on the micro okay okay so for guys who never see me using uh, this uh, let me open this here it is and it's like this because he has many time like this so now I can just put and you see how it is it's very weird <laughs> no don't leave any residue on this okay just you must be careful okay 
So let me touch on this. Okay. And it's good. The color it's nice. This piece it's not well good. But no problem. So guys, let me show you again. You see this uh, it's what I'm going to, to do. Okay, this camouflage, it's the green on the front and on the back too. I got here one of on the middle and the brown, okay, to stripes. Uh, I got green on the gun barrel too. And the flag, okay, uh, from this uh, armor division, okay, you can see it's um, a reddish, uh, the green. I'm going to make this with the... Uh, with the airbrush too, okay. I'm not going to use any deco. I'm going to make this with the airbrush, and let's see, it's when it's nice, <laughs> okay. So it's when it's wrong, it's bad. So first thing, uh, let me. I'm going to put you on the side for me to watch, okay. Uh, the first. It's going to be the green, okay? So let me see, it's um, it's going to something, okay? I like this, and let me see. I got here first one. I got here the antenna, so I just need to press a little. Okay, this put it normally go down by itself. Okay, we don't need too much. Okay, work on this. Uh, let me see here. Okay, on the middle too, so just pressing, okay, a little, you see you're on the antenna, nice. If you leave this by itself, it's going to go on every crack, on every detail, okay, and this is good. So the excess I'm going to remove here, okay, and just press. Okay, so the first it's done. Now let's go and here it's going to have a brown, okay. So, and let me see the brown, it's going to be around here, okay, just a little, okay, I'll just press. I can see it. The excess we just remove by hand, okay? And let's see, okay. It's nice. Just putting this to be more exactly, okay.
yes it's around uh, this one so just like this okay now I'm going to put you in pull a little okay and just make like this and protect that one and this one on this side too so we just pull okay so we got the green here okay and we got the brown now i am going to leave a mark okay to put the two okay so it's going to like this It's very important not to move the turret. Okay, this is going to to grab all the parts. Okay, and it's on. It's like this. Okay. So let's move this. like this I think this is nice to make a good uh, if you want to copy hello good morning my friends nice to see you so I think this is a good way if you want to um, to try and live uh, a very um, like the, the camouflage uh, you will see okay you can move this as you want okay so here let me see okay green brown okay we got here so I got here a little cell so I need to go and put just a little more okay so just like this Oops. Okay, something like this, and here on the middle. Um, it's not very hard, okay? If you put uh, masking tape, it's going to be very hard. With this, no, it's like it's almost like when you are using uh, your airbrush and freehand, okay? You are going to see here on the middle it's going to have the two colors okay uh, these two and we go from there so here on the on the front it's have all almost everything okay with uh, let me remove this it's almost with the, just this sand color so let's put here and uh, this front it's going to be green okay
the good of this putty when you finish just uh, put together again and it's going black again and you can use again later on another on another model okay I'm just using this one uh, about six months okay and I use this a lot guys and you can see it's like st <laughs> it's still fresh <laughs> so this part I'm not going to paint so it's good let me put this down okay and let me see in my phone guys it's just a, a second okay so now just let me take your uh, picture skies but sorry guys but I always take pictures I think it's itself goes and stays. You see it? So it's time for me to start painting these. Okay, I'm just here. This is very similar to the like the silly putty, okay. But I think it, this is better, okay. Here you can see the first one; it's more uh, it goes more on the contents of the model, okay. And you can see what I am doing. So just like this. So here I go first with uh, red brown, okay. This one, and I don't know why it doesn't focus. Okay, okay, red, brown. Okay, and then I will go with the Russian dark base. Okay. Oh, nice sign on. It's it's true, okay. And when you want to start uh, removing the tape, use the air dryer, and it's very easy to remove it. And the normal, it's helps for not pulling any paint, okay. For me it's important and with this putty it's almost the same thing okay now I'm going here and if I see if there are some mistakes I can go freehand with the airbrush and without any problem okay um, when I put the, uh, this desert sand I use the airbrush with the 03 point needle and 1.8 bar okay now I'm going to continue with the 03 needle okay so just shaking mm. 
and I think this is going to go out of the brush nice too okay so guys if if you are using MIG paints it's very important to shake it very well okay because if you don't do that it's going to you're going to have some bad experience okay and you need to shake this very good okay now I don't want put again the photo I need it okay so the brown color it's going to be uh, first here and here just only so let's start here okay don't try to paint this just on the first okay and another good color color coming out of the yeah brush okay now I got here on the front so let's start painting here too Okay, this paint it's thin, okay, and it makes uh, this. Uh, let me try to show you, and let's see if you can, guys can see. You see it here. It's uh, still missing some paint, okay, some pigment, but it's normal, okay. You can see here on the top of the head, guys. This is normal, okay. Uh, when it does this it's because this paint it's more thin than the others and we need to go with an, uh, another coat okay it's just simple as that okay and this is not telling the paint it's 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 um, it's not good okay it's because this paint it's more thinner and you seeing I'm not using any thinner on this And you see it, I am using here dryer to dry the paint, even with the putty there, okay? And it don't make any harm to the putty. We just need something like this, okay? And let's go again and see. Now the coverage is awesome.
So I'm not painting everything because it's going to have green there. And I think we don't need to put nothing up there. Okay. I think we go everywhere. Get on the back too. Just here. Okay. okay. Now let's get a rhythm of the this color. Okay. The brush don't want to help, so let's grab another. Hello Peter Plastic, uh, hello my friends, I know you put some new videos and uh, I'm going to see, but normally on, on the weekend it's more difficult for me and I will take a look, okay? Okay, so I'm just cleaning your brush, guys. Sorry. And I think we are good to go. Okay, now the coverage, it's good. Okay. And let's use a little more, my friend. Uh, I am following the the color scheme you know, on the of this this okay. This is for uh, the Egyptian okay uh, skin color from the war. So this is what I am using, okay? So two on, on hand, shaking the paint and drying the paint. <laughs> a little more shake and this uh, Russian dark blade is more thick but this normal normal dynamic paints came very nice on the 03 point needle okay if you are using a 02 it's different okay if you put uh, 10 drops of this uh, you put two drops of thinner and it's go nice on the 02 So now it's going to be the Russian dark base and it's going to be here, okay, here on the middle too, and it's going to be here on the front, okay. And here, okay, like this. So let's open. Yes, it's uh, it's come going to come out nice. Okay, let's go and let's put the green.
here on the back I'm going to make some free hand here And this color is very strong. Now let's work here on the middle and let's start here. And let's, um, even bigger. So a little. Let me see, guys. <laughs> it's nice to leave it with my friend. I like a lot of mic paint. Uh, let me see again here. Uh, okay, the schematic here is I got here this front. It's, uh, it's going to be more down the middle. Okay. This wheel. Okay, move the model, guys, for you to see the the bright. Okay. that wheel and okay you see it's a nice transition there and it's going to be the same thing there so here not seeing guys with sorry I'm making their camouflage too and we are almost okay you see it here Uh, 
Like that song, it's no one ever. <laughs> okay, now very nice, very nice, very easy. I'm going to pull up the model. Oops. <laughs> you can see all these scraps. all the angles okay uh, because I can't I'm just going to put it up there put it up there okay just a little working on the on the wheels guys close here the paint and So guys, this is now, it's going to be the moment of truth. Uh, yes, we got here one mistake and here another mistake. If you can see, it's mix missing something. So, and here too, and here too. So, I got the green on this, so I'm going to leave the green on this one. This one. Let me put this airbrush there and let me use the other airbrush just to put a little of the red brown light. And just go before I can I, I remove this let's try is that why I'm always saying moving the model you can see the mistake Okay. 
this one is a zero two needle that I am using and it's getting out of the brush very nice okay so again just on the spots with this and we are going to remove the button okay guys if you use this putty okay you got to know something when you are pulling this it's going to bring the color okay you got on the putty and sometimes it gets stick on your uh, fingers okay so careful if you not touch there and print one color okay so now let's remove this very easy okay and you can see it's hard but it's not so hard okay and as you can see it's getting very nice now watch your hands okay nice remove and this putty it's good for every kind of model planes uh, little models okay okay and just now uh, this one this is going to be more difficult okay but no it's not it's awesome okay you can see it now just make like this okay go and grab the other put all this together and the paint will start to lose by itself and it's black again okay and you make a ball like this okay just put your press a little close and when you grab this again it's ready okay so here we go oops okay, what do you <laughs> guys <laughs> here it is guys uh, You see how oh, it comes out the edges. Okay, it got a good transition too. Okay, even here on the sides. So let me put again the photo. Okay green that so now if you want you can go and put more putty and put what you want and make it better or not okay this is the ear on the side this ear on the side it's a little thinner if you want I can go <laughs> with more and make it more uh, white okay um, but I don't know I'm just trying to see uh, let me see again okay yeah it's going to be more on the back and that more white Okay, so now I'm going to correct, guys, this, let me put this, uh, let me try to put this on away. I think you guys can always, all you guys can see. So, I'm going to put this, now I'm going, now I'm going free ends, okay? No, 
don't break anything. <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to open more here, okay? And this two, but now I'm going free ends. Okay, the putty make me the lines I need, okay? So now I'm going free ends, and it's, and it's going to be awesome too, okay? So, let me see. Now I got the photo for me and I got this color the brown color and let me see I must go more there so let me open yes more just seeing the photo okay yeah uh, I go more quick Here I'm going to open more. Okay. Yes, you can see. It's almost like this one, okay? So when I am doing on free end, okay? So here, let me see. We got here the edges, so we need to go more here. Nice guys, but I need to check this. Real nice. Okay. Okay, so let's go again.
gets a little here of this edge. Okay, it's getting better. Okay, uh, let's open here more. So here you see it's more difficult to come out of the airbrush because this is a zero two needle, okay? And you see I'm not using any thinner. I am get I'm using to I am Use, I know how to use this, so sometimes it's more, uh, it's not so difficult for me. Okay, now let me see again, okay, the pattern. Okay, yeah, on the side, this green here. Okay, I can go more on the back, you see back of the turret it's almost everything green okay and here the mark is the line is okay a little more open and the wheel itself Okay, I know this is a very big one, so here I'm going to pull more for that, and that it's going to be nice. Okay, so I must work there. Now the greens, okay? And I think this so far it's good. So clean this brush and let's go together. is going to be for my cleaner now let's go again and with the green base okay and it comes out nicely so now I'm going to correct this okay this one it's nice and I'm going to correct is to here so let me pull. Out. Let me see the pattern. Okay, it's right there. We need more color, and for that, let's shake it better. Okay, so we are now using again the zero to needle.
you see what I'm doing? I am breaking that art edges. Okay. Now you see this nice and smooth. Okay, I think you can see now. It's going there and now I'm going to be there. So here on the side. Let's move this two. And this I can do more. Oh, okay. This to be different from the other side. Okay, now let's work here on the back. Now it's going to be... I can remove the turret, but I'm not going to remove the turret, so... Let's make this careful. Guys, just painting here the turret on the back. I don't know if I guys can see it. Okay, now I'm going to pull more. Uh, I got here the edges and just a little. Let's break these lines. Okay. Now it's going to be the same thing here. Okay, now I think it's almost good. This is a little more. Yeah. Okay, it's okay. Okay. Now I'm going to just break here too, these edges, okay, so I'll put this down, this is edges, it's too hard, and so, same camouflage, it's very uh, awesome with that art uh, lines okay but in this case I don't want
description if you already saw. Almost. Okay, now it's everything uh, break. Okay. Now the most difficult thing it's going to be to paint uh, the flag here. Okay. So let's clean my airbrush and let's start making that thing, okay? So it's going to be funny to make the flag, okay? So, let's uh, pick right on this. Okay, now uh, let's paint the flag. Okay, uh, you can see here on the turret, on the side of the turret, that green and that red color. Okay, so that is uh, what I'm going to paint, uh, and I'm going to make a mask uh, using. Uh, this tape okay this ordinary tape so let's put this there and I grab this little one so I got these squares here okay and I think it's going to be just almost the size of that so I'm going to cut uh, put this right there, okay. Now I'm going to use, uh, okay, so I'm going to cut this here, 
on the middle and Save this. Okay, and I'm going to make the same thing on the other side. Okay, so we got now two stencils. Yes, I can cut just to go more beautiful, guys. <laughs> So save these uh, these squares, okay, and I make this. So this is on half, okay. Now careful, guys. Make like this with your ends, okay. This uh, this tape it's a low tech, okay. It's not that uh, high tech thing, okay. So let's try and. Um, Put this and see. So see it I know it's too big okay the square there for the flag it's too big but no worries okay just want to make this okay now let's flip and make the same thing on the other side okay Now I'm going to grab uh, maybe the, the other one. I can use this one too. Okay. Uh, just cut it off. And now put the size of the flag. Just like that. Now let me do the same thing on the other side. So I'm doing like these guys, but there are lots of ways to do it. Okay. Okay, so I think it's nice now. Okay. Now I need a uh, map white, okay. And I'm going to put there a little there, okay? 
so guys if you want just grab a little more tape okay and glue here okay you don't need too much okay it's just how to make a uh, over spray then remove these guys very soft and on this it's like I am telling to model ball uh, Einhorn earlier I used the uh, air dryer okay to help not to bring this back okay This is just to prevent to go uh, if you can use a brush you know overspray it's when you the paint it's out of the, the stencil okay and go and make the, the marks of the that uh, square I made uh, the, out of the square okay so like this is just preventing, okay? So guys, just a minute, I'm going to grab my, uh, my water, just a minute. Okay, here again. So, zero three needle. Okay, I can use this without any problem because I put the ma that mask there, so no problem. I'm going to use a little white just to break all that color. Okay, it's better. Okay, because I'm going to paint first with the red color and then with the with the green. So it's better to put uh, a white color on the back okay so I'm going to put this away let's pull this a little for me just like this it's enough okay just to break that strong colors uh, like here we got this this green too Okay, done. The white color, I think it's one of the worst uh, leaving out of the airbrushes. This is the thing, if you put one, two drops of white, you must put one drop of thinner. <laughs> the, the pigments are very thick. Okay. 
So, the red color. For this, guys, I'm going to use this Ferrari red. Okay, this is from Vallejo. Okay. Normally, Vallejo colors you don't need too much for uh, to to shake it too much. Okay. Just two, but because of the water on the airbrush, we need to put more. Okay. Okay, you can see it's good. Now let's flip this. Okay. You see it? So, guys, you can see red color side and the other. So, now clean the airbrush. You guys know how it is the drill. <laughs> Now, I'm going to use this one, okay, this is uh, US light green, okay, to form uh, Vallejo colors. This uh, I, I put on the, my Vallejo colors to uh, steel uh, balls, okay, for shaking I use from MIG, okay, you can buy for another brand, okay. I, I buy like this and then when I buy new paints if it is not make I put this there okay so I need this to dry a little so just what the okay. so just a little Thing. Now it's very important to see how I'm going to put the flag so the green it's like that so let me remember You see the stripe? Okay, the red is coming down. So guys, you remember these little things? We 
left. So it's time to put there. Okay, so let's grab it and hmm, I don't like it too much. So no problem. Let's grab a little more more white. Okay. Okay, now I cut here more long, so it's more easier. Okay, and I'm going to put over there. So let me see. don't like it mm, maybe I uh, will put the magnify okay guys just a second for I can put this nice okay Okay, now this is there, and let's make the same thing on the other side. Okay. more easy this side now just put this square here just to prevent no overspray so I don't need more of this for now <laughs> And let's now let's go paint that green. Okay. So press nice. Okay. more okay today it's a little warm here so green don't try to make all at, at the first okay and of course a different green of this okay with the air dryer go again
Okay, okay. I think it's good. So now it's the moment I'm going to use my friend again and use this to dry the paint and use to helps to uh, lift all this masking tape okay but first let me open this one and it drops here a little bit okay no problem You see? And you don't leave any paint. And we got here one flake. <laughs> How are you, my friend? Okay. And I got here a major problem, guys. I uh, don't know you guys see it, but it's here, okay, and a big blob of this. So let's try to remove a little. Let's see if I can. Okay, you see? Okay, because I'm going to make the shipping so it's not a big arm then. So I got that little bend just there and on this side it's it's all missing okay so nice so here are the flags okay just using masking tape guys oops <laughs> like here okay so I think it went nice, only get little blobs of red, yes blood my friend, <laughs> I cut myself, I don't know where but I cut myself, or oh, I am with the, the Chico, <laughs> okay, so let me clean my airbrush again. Always cleaning, guys. Always cleaning. And you see, I don't have uh, uh, Egyptian flag like this. Or oh, it's what you see on the photo. Okay. That photo it's from um, Tank encyclopedia so this is an historic uh, BMP with a camouflage and this flag too this one okay that I put here okay so here it is the flag 
and one side and the other side so this is the side correct you can see you can see the camouflage it's almost okay uh, now I'll just go and make some touches on the wheels okay yeah, just to make this more pretty <laughs> Okay, I'm going here on this wheel just to make more. Okay, and you can see. I think so far, I think it's nice. Okay. I just need to put some sand yellow there. Okay, just to make this more nice. Okay. So let me grab your okay the sand the desert sand put I'm going to put some there okay the wheel more beautiful okay and this one of this side it's very bad see any part of that just
Uh, okay. Okay. Does it sound so tasty at all? <laughs> oh my god. So let me see. Okay, can we put more? I made the K for once building Bandai Kids with Star Wars tricks. <laughs> yes, you are with your pillow. So nice to hear you are not on the garden, okay? Putting potatoes <laughs> or catching potatoes. Let me see here. how is the tip. Oh my god, so many colors on the point of the tip. <laughs> oh my god. It is a freak on my street. That motorcycles make some so noise, but uh, we don't have too much speed. Okie dokie, what do you think, guys? I think the paintwork it's good now I'm going to paint the rims okay this it's all in rubber okay and I'm going to put the touches on the tracks okay hello behind hope how are you here all the fronts okay <laughs> no it's not the V8 my friend So I think it's nice. The flag too, okay. So on this I'm not going to put any decals. Uh, so for that I don't need to put uh, that gloss varnish. It's going to be the first, it's going to be the, the Saturn. And for that um, later I'm going to put the filters on this, of course. Okay, uh, let me see. One hour and 50 minutes, okay, for doing this camouflage. So I think it's, it's good, okay, it's not bad. And now, let me put just this one, ah, the other one, it's there. Okay, so now I'm gonna start painting the wheels okay so let's grab here my palette oops this is from ice cream guys vanilla and strawberry and for this I want this mat, mat okay so I'm, and I'm going to use one of the best paints for that, okay, it's black primer, okay, and this from Vallejo, it's nice, very, very nice, okay. So a brush, and just put some drops there on the palette, one drop. Oh, two drops of water. Okay, and I got whatever over up here. My the retarder, okay, from Createx. So just a drop there. And this helps a lot for the paint not to uh, dry quickly. Okay, so I cut about uh, I can 
have more than 15 minutes okay to paint this so start painting the wheels okay and if it goes some on the wheels no problem it's going to be for chipping too okay these boards of the of the wheel it's metal okay but i paint this on black too because then i will put later okay uh getting metal pigment and it's going to pop out because it's 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 on it's on black okay so it makes more real when i put that kind metal okay so just paint here too this uh you retarded <laughs> Look what you're doing. We're going to make a car from a Barbie, okay, instead of Star Wars. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, I know it's sucked. But you see, it's making a difference. Yes, it's we got always on the table ice cream, okay, and I use that for that boxes for, for most of the things, okay, to make my mixes with the when I use the plaster to make dioramas, okay, and for a lot of things. And the boxes are a good so for when I go to my mother's house, okay, you know how is our food, uh, the food of our mothers, so I appear on my mother's house with the box and she knows I want some of that. <laughs> Okay, okay. Uh, one thing, guys, I'm going to start uh, building uh, models from from a company. Mm, some of you guys know it's Mirage. Mirage, it's a Polish uh, brand. Okay, and. We are starting to make like a partnership, okay? Uh, we'll build some of their models and s make some reviews, okay? So they sent me uh, this week one plane and one tank. So I will show how it is, it's good or not. So they be attention. For the things, uh, for the pictures I saw, I think it's very good. But they sent me two and I will see if it's good or not, okay? But I think it's good. I think we don't have any music okay so you can see it right there <laughs> oh god. Uh, I went to crap. 
Jeez, okay. Oh yes, I remember what I'm going to do. I'm getting very bad with my head. Okay, it's music, okay? And if you go to Mini Art uh, YouTube page, you see there are my words too. Okay. So I'm building some models from for Mini Art, and they are awesome too. Painting and painting. The, 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 it's going to be later. So now, just like this. I'm going to put later pigment, so I just put in here what I need. Okay. You see it? Some mirage kits, a uh, 64 parts, and the two French it is Stuka. They both are good kits, not too complicated, but in certain sheets could be a bit clear. Uh, yes, they are sending me uh, a Polish plane, uh, and I think it's awesome. There, on that kit, it brings with the uh, with the photo hatch, and it has so many photo hatch guys, and I think it's going to be awesome that uh, that aeroplane. But I will. Uh, when it when it's rich here on my house, I will show you guys. Okay, and I think for the price, it's uh, it's awesome. But I will show you guys later. So, guys, you can see it's easy. To paint this, okay. Just have a little patience. This model, it's more difficult to paint the wheels and the tracks out because of the side skirts. Okay, it's the big problem for me with this model, okay. But with a little patient guys you see it's easy and my phone today it's a little always ringing and distract me. I think it's no one for give me money. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Just on the phone. So let's continue. Painting wheels, guys. So, don't remember, if she calls any paint on the wheels, just use that marks to go later with the chipping color, okay, and make a chipping, okay. So it's not a big issue. Some guys, some guys, oh my God, it's going to the wheels and there, no problem. Just go later with a chipping collar and it's good.
you see it it's getting good I'm painting the inside of the tracks too it's like we call, want to call two in one we paint the tracks paint the wheels someone very happy out there okay Sergio today there are no fight <laughs> just a minute a minute hope I just going to see If you want to challenge, get me a mirage. I use 16 of those kids. Man, friend, German, and tank. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I'm going to roll that and I'm going to see what are you telling you know I, I like a good challenge oops yeah I got one tank I am doing for model collect uh, that have so many photo edge parts to, it's uh, really very hard to build okay I am just when I got the mojo for that I will go back again on that Okay, okay, again, one more. Uh, almost. Uh, I'm digging now. I'm following the Benfica. Mas pronto, o que é que a gente está a fazer? Alguém tinha que ganhar. Foi o Bito que fica, olha. Está para a próxima. So guys, we are talking about football. Ok. Here in Portugal. Uh, Benfica, one. The championship. And for me, it's bad news I am from FC Porto that club where Casillas Iker Casillas play the goalkeeper <laughs> oh my god, snore. <laughs> I 
Yes, in the football. Okay, enough. So. Plastic model ball. Hello, how are you? Oh, almost. Okay, just yeah. I don't worry too much on the back. Okay, uh, let's put there. <laughs> Sporting great club, my friend. It's a great club, my friend. I am from Porto, but I like a lot of Sporting. <laughs> yes, no Porto now. Because of everyone off to market, parts improvement, or after the holiday, well, I don't say it's got plastic things. Um, for me, uh, after market, after market parts are nice, okay? Uh, but I, I don't think they are making bad things to the to to this hobby. Okay, uh, it just if you want uh, to put it, I think it's good. I don't like the the fellows that said if you not put any aftermarket parts on your kit. Uh, and then your kit it's no good because you don't have aftermarket parts okay or resin so, okay so I uh, me I like to to assemble out of the box okay and then if I am going to put uh, the model on a diorama it's different okay on that matter sometimes I put uh, and I think it's good okay <laughs> Yes, on the on the Eurovision, <laughs> we are winners. <laughs> Thank you, plastic model ball. Excuse me, uh, here a little to turn this. Okay. No, no, <laughs> from Hungarian. <laughs> oh God, my self. No. <laughs> I won't see that. So, as you can see, the wheels are all painted okay the tracks too so I think so far it's good okay and you see that shadows okay on the side okay and I think it's good work so far okay so now let's start making some chipping effect on this and for that let me grab my chipping okay from MIG it's true it's true So for this I'm going to grab where I have it here my I got this is a little hard so let's turn this okay and I got now a new okay to go 
to make the chipping effect okay so now on this I'm going to put a uh, very light okay I don't want to put too too hard on this okay this is I'm going to put on another uh, on a uh, pedestal okay so with the photo and I don't know I don't want this too beaten okay just mm -hmm. with these and some of the some dust okay oh shipping color okay you see it and let's go and start to check we are on the side. on this same color you see more okay É uma esponja, esponja normal. Estás a ver aqueles pergões que nós temos na cozinha de esponja? Do um lado é a esponja e do outro lado é o esfregão verde. Quando, quando acaba o esfregão verde, a esponja é boa para isso. Ok, eu estou do bem. Qualquer dia estou me meto fora de casa. Ok, now put it in the wheel still.
on the sprocket wheels. Uh, good, a good steer. Okay, so it's normal. Okay, and here. So it's the most, one of the most beaten. And this color still see to the green. Okay. So then with the sponge, okay, now I'm going to make uh, with this, okay, it's a long brush. I'm going to make the marks. I want more, okay, so just thin lines. here on the side it's normal the most beaten parts these edges okay Okay. One thirty five scale. Hello, my friends. How are you? Nice to see you. So now it's on this direction. Okay. I grab your the brush on the back and it's make more real these scratches okay if you go to um, on the front of the brush it's going to make more pronounced and like this it's I think it's better
now here. Um, now I'm going to remove this from. Let's go it all. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Just a little fun. Now let me work here around. Put some here on the periscopes too. On this part, You can see I'm putting around here the edges, okay? So this is normal, a little too beaten, and this part here. When they are open, they match together and they beat a lot. You know that time I said it's almost time for stop, okay? I am almost in that part, okay? So I'm just putting here a little around the edges, okay? Go back here, okay, and with a little of the sponge, okay. Okay, so this it's very strong this screen okay but you can see let's see it's going to focus dude okay you see it on this yellow sand we can see better and on the green it's more difficult okay that's nothing 
cannot do. going to put any more chipping okay I think for now it is enough okay and then later if I think it's better to put more I put more okay I don't want to put this too much okay so let's save that okay just cleaning Brush. Okay, okay, go there. Okay. Now it's time to start painting some parts, some of the grills. Okay, and for that. Going to paint this in two different ways. Okay, I'm going to grab this one, bro. And for now, uh, the first I'm going to use it's uh, not the steel. Uh, you, huh? This one, gun metal gray from Vallejo, guys. Okay, so I will go here. Okay. Let's go and put here one, maybe one drop. And let's start painting this. This is going to have pigments here, okay, and it's going to be black, but I want now just a little shadow and right, okay. So even on the top of this, I paint this, okay. Now I'm going to. Like I have this, I'm going to paint here the side of the sprocket wheels. Okay, just a little. Let's see, it's going to focus. No, that's going. So, just the, the teeth of this. Okay. Yeah, point. Let's give some metal there and here to on inside of this. Okay, the springs. Okay. Yeah. 
is going to have can metal but for now spring now you can see the wheels you see it's going to focus a lot oh, it's killing me out time let's try yeah now you see it but here the things get kind of touch of Okay, you see it? And I can use this too. We are on the can barrel, the point. Just give the first shadow. Okay. For this. Okay. Now I'm going to paint the grills. Okay. But the grills I'm going to paint because it's I'm going to weather it. So I'm going to paint with silver. Yeah, no, thank you. One draw. And let's paint this. The wash I'm going to put inside this, it's very dark. And I want some beneath bright, okay? You can see I'm painting all this with just one drop of this, okay? So, you can see. No, you cannot you can see. Okay. Side of that, it's not all painted. I'll go again here and paint the rest. Mm, I don't like too much of this one. This is very bright and I don't like it. Sincerely, I am not liking it. So 
just painting here the shovel. Okay. That is that. Now I got here this one. Oh, the side. Okay. So some tools. Printing some tools. Okay. And these paints are awesome for this kind of works. Okay, so I'm going to paint the grill with the metal, uh, again metal too. Okay, I think it's not so good uh, with this plate. Uh, let me see, I can put you more. Okay, so painting this. So that is why normally I go with a more bright color and then if I don't like it I go with more dark, okay? Okay, that was my phone guys. Just a minute guys, just answer this phone. Sorry fellas. Sometimes there are calls I need to answer. Okay, and as you can see, it's getting very, very nice. So it's better, much better like this, okay? Now I got here some of that plate color, I'm just going to paint the, uh, the headlights, okay? And just try 
in just that circle. Okay, just to give some light there and Okay, and here. Just a touch here. All the greens make this so nice. Okay, when I'm going to put here the gun metal, guys, you are going to see. This thing is because it has so many um, rivets and, and that stuff. When I'm going to make a dry brush with uh, pigment, it's going to be awesome. Okay. It's going to be very, very awesome. Okay, and with the time, you see the color, it's fading. Okay. So let's use the air dryer. Okay, now let me just grab. I got here this color. Ah, I like it's um, cavalry brown. Okay, this is from model color. Uh, I'm just going to paint here the the woods of the shovel. Okay, I'm going to paint in this more dark woods. Okay, just like that a little. And I think for the moment I don't forget nothing, okay? So, uh, the next step, it's going to start making the weathering, okay? And guys, the weathering I'm going to do uh, tomorrow, okay? Because I'm going to put the varnish today, okay? Uh, the this little one. So I'm going to grab uh, the model and I'm going to put uh, satin var varnish, okay, uh, Prossim workshop vai ser uh, pronto deste sábado passou a 15 dias, é sempre 15 em 15 dias, mas uh, se não puderes, porque estiveres a trabalhar, se fores lá no sábado à loja, eu também estou lá, ok, não há problema, eu vou lá estar todos os sábados. Uh, sempre depois do almoço, aquelas vezes que eu tiver de manhã, é assim, vê sempre uh, a página do Clube de Modelismo de Sintra, consegues lá ver se eu vou lá estar ou não, ok? So guys, as you can see, it's, for now, it's good, let me put here some more of this for you guys trying to see, but not too much. Okay. I think you guys can see now. Just moving this careful. Uh, 
and for an, about two hours I think it's not bad uh, the painting okay uh, I see you see I use the, um, the masking putty okay this one from Mick for making uh, the lines then I, uh, I grab the airbrush and make this to be more careful okay for that and the colors it was this ones from Young Kippur Wars you can see Egyptian and Syrian camouflage colors okay and I use colors from here and this is from Mick this came for, for with my tank okay my T54 so guys <laughs> I hope you guys like it and uh, tomorrow uh, I don't know the hour okay I'm going to put about uh, 5 p.m. okay uh, at afternoon and I will start making the weathering on this it's not going to be very heavy on this because I'm going to I want this to be more clean guys okay not to to dirt okay so tomorrow I'll be back again <laughs> so guys thank you very much for watching uh, all you guys you are here uh, the new guys I'm going to see your channels okay and normally I subscribe okay so thank you very much and I see you tomorrow